Hey everyone, what's up? It's April. I was going to attempt to make myself look presentable for this video, but I just, I don't have time or energy and my glasses are fogging up because it's so hot. So we're here to film my December deck of TBR. Amelie's here to help with her mohawk. You see yourself? <gasps> Who's that? That's you! Oh. So, um, this is like a new setup. I don't know. It's probably terrible. But look, we're just going with it this month, okay? So, first order of business is the bomb book. I'm actually going to keep it as The Count of Monte Cristo because I actually need to read that in December in order to fulfill a prompt for a readathon I'm doing called the Clear Your Shit Readathon, which is a two month long readathon. So, um, we're like almost halfway through now and one of the prompts is to read your oldest published book and that is unfortunately my oldest published book. So um, this is the one time ever that I am, you know, wanting to pick out the Joker. So I have to read the bomb book. Who am I? I don't know. And the other order of business is to get rid of one of these prompts because... My library is no longer using RB Digital as a library app. They are getting rid of it and merging everything that's on there onto Libby. So that one is now officially gone. So we need to pick out a new prompt to go there and it's going to be, oh, a big book over 500 pages. How fun is that? This is really hard to do with a baby. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with the rules, I'll leave the playlist linked in the corner and in the description so you can watch the first video but I completely stole this from Maddie from Books with Maddie so props to her. Okay we're just gonna get straight into it because I don't know how long it's not even focused on me <laughs> chaos I don't know how long Emily's gonna let me do this okay so are you ready for the first card? Oh, boom what is it? It is something eight of hearts okay eight of hearts indigenous author okay cool okay so i've got two options because both of these are on my physical tbr but they also are audiobooks from my library and audiobooks are the main way i'm getting reading done these days so first we have the yield by tara june winch which is a fiction book and then we have a non-fiction book dark emu by Pru bruce bruce pasco i think i'm gonna go with the yield because I just, I think I'm more in the mood for a fiction than a non-fiction. So we're going to go with that. So now we need to swap out this prompt. Put it in the bag of prompts for later. And pick out a new one. Color wheel. Ooh, that's fun. Next card is 10 of clubs. 10 of clubs is LGBTQAAP plus rep. This is perfect for a book I want to read. So I am going with Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. Not only have I been wanting to read this ever since it came out, but it's also going to fulfill a prompt for the Clear Your Shit Readathon, which is to read your most expensive book because I splurged and bought the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition and shipping to Australia was expensive. So yes, Cemetery Boys, I'm excited. Okay, swap out that prompt for... Reread. Okay, next is going to be. Why does this never focus? Okay, it is Eight of Diamonds. Is Booktuber Fave? Okay, this is uh, a sticky situation we're in because I, 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 I don't know what to pick. So basically, this prompt is linking a book with a booktuber whose favorite book that is. So for example, for me, um, my favorite book is Jane Eyre. So if you're doing this along with me, which I know some of you do, you can choose me if you want for this and you can read Jane Eyre um, because that's my favorite book. So I'm gonna have to go and have a look at my shelves because nothing's like jumping out at me. Was that even recording? Oh. <sighs> Yes, of course it wasn't recording, so I ended up, bless you, oh my goodness, <laughs> I ended up picking From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout because as soon as I saw this on my shelves, I immediately thought of Katie from Katie's Book Nook because she recently read this and became obsessed 
and it's like one of her new favorite things ever. Plus, I just really, really want to read it. So, thank you, Katie. It's happening. Okay, swapping out that with mystery thriller. Okay, next is Two of Hearts. Two of Hearts is a big book over 500 pages. So I could just pick Count of Monte Cristo for this. But what if the Joker comes up? Then I have to pick another bomb book. Okay, I'm going with A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, which is the sequel to the book I just mentioned <laughs> because I literally couldn't find anything else. And I'm probably gonna wanna read that right after reading the first book because apparently it's just that good. So, I'm gonna swap out Z Prompt for small book. What a coinky ink. All right, you ready, Emily, for the next one? I'm surprised we haven't got any of my TBR jars yet. Okay, next is, oh. <laughs> did I just manifest this? Yes, I did. It's a king. It's a king. Which means we get to pick out of one of my TBR jars, but which one will it be? We have to use a random dice roller to find out because I have six TBR jars. Okay. Okay, we're gonna roll. Six. Okay, six is my ebook slash audiobook jar, which is actually amazing because that's how I'm getting through books these days. Okay, cool. That is this jar right here. So let's pick one, I guess. <laughs> this one is the chosen one. What is it? Duh. Ooh! <laughs> okay. This is a historical romance, The Rogue Not Taken. I think it's by Sarah McLean. I've been wanting to try Sarah McLean for so long. Um, I've just heard she's incredible. Oh my gosh, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm so hyped about this. I have it as an ebook. Still haven't got the Joker. I'm wondering will I ever get the Joker because I haven't got it yet and we've been doing this for three months. I don't know. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's an ace. So we get to pick out of my jars again. Okay, roll two which is my 2020 releases jar. That is this one. Okay. This one is more likely to be something good. So this one is the chosen one. What is it? A sprinkle of sorcery. I've already read it. Okay, pick again. This one. Winterborn Home for Vengeance and Valor. I'm currently reading that right now. Pick again. <laughs> this one. Um, ooh, the Dictionary of Lost Words. Okay, let me go get it. Okay, here it is. It's by Pip Williams. It's set in 1901 during the women's suffrage movement. And it says, in 1901, the word bond maid was discovered missing from the Oxford, bless you, English dictionary. This is the story of the girl who stole it. I don't know, historical fiction sounds great. Let's move on to the next book. This one, it's another king. Okay, and if I get another king, we have to add another pick because if I get three of something, that's my rule. Okay, roll. Three is my gifted jar. And that's his, this cutie right here. Okie dokie, let's see. Ooh, something just fell out. Is that a sign? Should I do the one that fell out, that jumped out? It's eager to be read. What is it? Okay. Okay, I actually can't find the book I picked out. I don't know where I put it, so <laughs> we're just gonna pick another one. Sorry to that book, okay. I picked out an enchantment of ravens. I don't know why I said it like that. Okay, here it is. It's by Margaret Rogerson. This was gifted to me by Whitney from Whitney Novels for my birthday last year, I think. But I'm excited because Sorcery of Thorns by this author is one of my favorites. Okay, we've got three left. And sorry you can see the messy desk in the background. <laughs> Same. Next is... Six of Spades. Okay, Six of Spades is science fiction. Huh. 
Okay, I'm gonna go with The Psychology of Time Travel by Kate. Yep. <laughs> because this is all about time travel. It's set in three different time periods, so that's fun. Um, it's about four female scientists who invent a time travel machine and um, things happen. <laughs> okay, so we gotta get this one in there. Friend pick. Okay, two left. We've got, come on, I just wanna get the Joker this one time. Two of Diamonds is an author of color. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to read Mary Inkmas by Talia Hibbert. And if I have time, I might even read Wrapped Up in You, which is a new Christmas book by Talia Hibbert that's coming out. Only on Kobo though, lame. But yeah, we're gonna go with Mary Inkmas. Take that off, put that in. Swap it out for four plus words in title. Okay. Last one is going to be not the Joker. Ace. Okay. One, which is my backless TBR jar, which is a scary, scary jar because it's so full. All right. We're going to pick this one. Okay, that's funny. I actually picked out a book that I was going to unhaul, so I guess that means this is a sign that I have to give it a chance. It's I Have Lost My Way by Gail Foreman. I have no idea what this is about. No idea. Three people who lost their way but found each other. There you go. Hey friends, <laughs> I'm sorry this video was so chaotic. I didn't even get a chance to finish out the video and go over what we ended up picking. Sorry, Emily's playing with her toys. So I'm just going to quickly recap uh, what I'm going to read and um, some extra books that I'm hoping to read in December as well. So we'll start off with the deck of TBR. So first I got Indigenous Author. So I'm going to be reading The Yield by Tara June Winch. Then I picked out LGBT Plus and I'm going to read Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. Then we have Booktuber Fave um, from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Big book, over 500 pages, A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, also by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Then I picked out of my ebook slash audiobook jar, The Rogue Not Taken by Sarah McLean. Then I picked out of my 2020 releases jar, The Dictionary of Lost Words by Pip Williams. Then I picked out of my gifted jar and I picked An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. Then I landed on science fiction, so I'm gonna read The Psychology of Time Travel. Uh, then we got Author of Color, so I'm gonna be reading Mary Inkmas by Talia Hibbert. And then lastly, I picked out of my backlist TBR jar, I Have Lost My Way by Gail Foreman. But other books that I'm hoping to read for some prompts for the Clear Your Shit Readathon, I'm going to hopefully read Tess of the D'Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy, and this is to read the book that's been on my shelf the longest. And then we have The Beast that is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, and this is to read the oldest published book on my shelves. And then I've got some Christmas books I've, I want to read. I want to read In a Holidays by Christina Lauren, and I would like to reread A Boy Called Christmas by Matt Haig so that I can finish out the trilogy by reading the sequel, The Girl Who Saved Christmas, and the third book, Father Christmas and Me. And I think that's all, maybe. <laughs> I mean, if I can get to all of those, that would be incredible, but who knows? So that's going to be it for this chaotic deck of TBR video. I'm sorry. It's so chaotic, but yeah, I will see you guys soon in a new video. Goodbye. <laughs>